Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Rick Maxson. I live in Springfield, Missouri, and I teach at Drury University, but that's not why I'm here. I'm here because um, Nancy said it was okay. She invited me uh, to participate in Bob's 80th birthday and collection of 80 memories. And Bob, I do. I have... 80 memories at least, but I'm going to limit myself to three. Um, I came to know the Bjorklands and Bob uh, at Bible Fellowship Church in Ventura. And Bob, my earliest memory of you was before I even met you. Um, I guess it was back in 1974 or around then. I was high school age. And I was learning how to play the, the recorder. And um, more than one person at uh, Bible Fellowship Church told me, um, they said, uh, you know, the, the Bjorklands are moving back to Ventura. And, and I didn't know the Bjorklands, but everyone else did. And they said, yeah, um, Bob Bjorkland, uh, he's, a, uh, he's a music teacher. He's very musical. Um, and he knows how to play the recorder. In fact, he used to be in a recorder group. You would be very interested to meet him. Um, and besides, he uh, has a family, and one of his daughters is your age. <laughs> yeah, you know, more than one person at that church told me um, about that. Anyway, um, I started looking forward to the Bjorklands moving to Ventura and meeting this Bob Bjorkman. That's probably my earliest memory. Um, later, uh, I remember being in your home one night, <laughs> and um, you said, hey, I want to show you something. Oh, and by the way, your house, I, I remember. I remember your kitchen. Um, I know where your piano was. And you're always bringing out interesting instruments for me to, to enjoy and learn about. But uh, this evening you said, yeah, I want to show you something. And you disappeared. And then you came back. And you had this um, banjo ukulele. Uh, now they call them banjo -lelis, right? So you had this instrument and you played it for me. You played a song for me. And I was just stunned. It really... It really made an impression, and between uh, you and Gary Schofield, I know I uh, had an early appreciation for um, those little four-stringed instruments. And, you know, a while back, I went ahead, I bought, I bought a ukulele, and I learned how to play it, and, um, you know, every summer, I take it with me to summer camp. I teach at a, a summer camp, a church camp for children in... Um, Bloomington, Indiana, and I play my ukulele for them, and I, I let them hold it and learn and learn how to play, too. And, um, yeah, I can't think about the ukulele without also remembering you. Well, um, fortunately uh, for me, um, those, those are fairly, those are distant memories, but now I'm having more recent memories because the Bjorklands came back into my life last summer and uh, called me out of the blue and we got to meet and it's just great uh, to to be uh, back in, um, in communication with one another and so my more recent memory is um, Bob, you and Nancy um, give me this book, right? Um, Spurgeon's uh, Morning and Evening uh, as a reminder that God is constantly present in my life and is my help and my strength. So, um, now you're celebrating your 80th, and it's exciting to be part of that. So I'm going to keep my memories there and, um, and sign off. But I want to sign off with a song, an appropriate song, with a, an instrument that I think you will appreciate, because, yeah, I, I got one. A banjolele.
<laughs> and Bob, I can't play it without thinking, uh, thinking of you and remembering um, the, the happy times that we've had together. Thank you for the memories and thank you for being present in my life even today. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, dear Bobby Orkland, happy birthday to you. <laughs> happy birthday, Bob. <laughs>